Hey, it's Kirk Harnack along with Tom Hansen from Lightning 100. We're in front of Soul Shine Pizza on Division Street here in Nashville. Tom, it's a gorgeous Friday afternoon. The sun's shining, the pizza is baking, and the baking. beer is flowing, yeah? Yes, sir. You guys do a live remote broadcast here. Tell me about that. Uh, we do a live broadcast every Friday afternoon, sponsored by Blackstone Brewery, uh -huh. Soul Shine Pizza, yeah. and Lightning 100. Cool. So, and so what, a, a, one of your DJs comes out here and... Wells Adams comes out every um, every Friday at 5 o'clock, and he's live until 7 using the, the Zip One. And then, okay. he, then he uses the 4G wireless to connect back to the studio with his laptop as well. Controls everything from here. And um, then we have one of our local bands come on and play a free show after that. So we're going to go upstairs and talk to Josh in a minute, but you just mentioned something interesting. You said he controls everything from here uh, using a 4G wireless. And this could be wired internet, but we have a router upstairs, and that splits the internet for the Zip One for your audio. Correct. And it also provides internet to your laptop, so right. you can remote back into the uh, the Enco system back at the station. That's correct. Cool. Yep. Makes it easy. They love it. They can uh, they can do everything themselves without having a board up. Yeah. So. Wow. Yeah, it's great. That's pretty cool. You do other remotes too with the Zip One, don't you? Uh, we do. We do a live broadcast every Sunday night from Third and Lindsley, and uh -huh. that's that's a live music. So it's not just talk. It's live music, and um, uh, and then we do a show on Mondays called the Six One Five. How you doing? I'm Josh Livingstone with Lighting 100. I do promotions and occasional tech stuff when we have a live remote. I'm just kind of going to explain to you the process that I go through setting up the remote. What I do is obviously come in, put the board down, after the table set up and all that okay. stuff. It's called the WiMAX uh, router modem. I'm sorry. I'm not exactly the, the tech savvy guy, but as you can see right here, we have five bars. So a lot of times we go to places out and random, random spots that don't have internet. Um, so we use this. And it, that way we, we know it's reliable and it's strong and, and we can get signal connected to the station without any dropouts. And this will go to, right down here you can see the modem here, I mean the router, I'm sorry, which we use to basically connect a computer to. If we didn't need that then, then we wouldn't have to have it, but we use the computer so again the DJ can connect to the station and see what's going on on the dad. It also connects to the Zip1 which then gives a signal to enable it to connect, obviously, and, and give us the signal we need and connect to the station to send back and forth our, our transmitted signal from here. All right, so after setting everything up and plug everything in, I turn on the laptop. After plugging in the Zip1, I, it basically connects all by itself once the router and the modem are both connected, which I can take you back here and see. It's kind of a mess right now, but um, usually I, I put a drape over and cover it. So once the board's connected, zip one's plugged in, modem and router both plugged in, it connects instantly. I get on the laptop, connect to the dad, so when the DJ comes in, he can, he can see what's going on at the station, and sits down and entertains a couple hundred people every Friday. All of that happening at Soul Shine Pizza in Midtown on Division. If you want to win them, you got to come chill with us. It's tomorrow. We have our weekly LOM party over in Centennial Park for Musicians Corner. Special edition of Musicians Corner, part of a Tour de Fat celebration. Music from Raylan Baxter, and here come the mummies. Fun starts at noon, goes until 5 o'clock. Coming up, Black Keys for you, the Mowgli's, and new stuff from Frank Turner. But first, a look at the roads. We want to get you over to Soul Sign Pizza as soon as humanly possible. This update brought to you by Honor Guard Best Management. Get a call back within one business hour to start with for you, or get a $100 free dinner at the restaurant of your choice. Their number over there, 242-5440. Higgins, what you got for us, man? So, Tom, uh, you're doing these remotes using IP audio, using a, a Zip1 IP audio codec right. and a wireless internet. Now, you've also done a ton of remotes using ISDN. I mean, Lightning 100, you're all about live music. Right. So, would you compare and contrast um, the two different technologies for me? Well, I, I know that uh, I was probably hesitant at first with the IP audio, but um, once we started doing National Sun Night, the response that we get is just so much, so much clearer. There's, there's so much more of the, the music. It's so much more live. Now you're able um, to do a higher bit rate over IP, typically, cor correct, than correct. you could with ISDN. That is correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Does, does that account for some of the audio quality? Uh, I think, I think it's, all, I think it's all of it. Oh, okay. So, okay. I really do. I think that the uh, IP codec, uh, instead of having 128, you know, K yeah. bonded, yeah. Uh, you have, uh, you can be at 256 or yeah. whatever you want to choose. So. So do you find that, I guess at some locations, you don't have wired internet available to you, 
Uh, I've been loaning you this uh, this Wimax uh, box from yep. from Clearwire. That been working out okay? Works great. Wherever you can get a good signal, it works great. And there's a signal strength meter on the front there of it. Is, there oh, yeah. is. So we yeah. found that if you have four of the five bars, you're good to go. Now, you know, in tr doing a lot of travel, I tend to find that to have good internet, you kind of got to, sometimes the hotel Wi-Fi is no good. Sometimes the hotel wired is no good. Right. You bring a, a T-Mobile phone that does a tethering. You, yeah. you, you bring a, a, a Verizon LTE um, uh, USB modem with you. Mm -hmm. You know, so I guess in your toolbox as an engineer, the more options you have, the more likely you are to be able to have a successful remote. That is true. We um, we typically have, uh, if we're ISDN primary, uh, we'll use IP for backup. Yeah. Uh, if we're depending on on the the remote, most of our music remotes are done over ISDN. But uh, with the ease of the IP setup and the and the, the compactness of it, now we just send our Jackson's promotions director on the road, and if they could do it every day, they would. <laughs> that's so what, that's what Josh seemed to you know. Josh yeah. just put that thing together in a few minutes. Yes. Cool. He's, he's really yeah. And he's non technical. Good deal. Tom, thanks a lot. Thank you. Appreciate it.